Today, we will be diving into the film The Players Club and all of the horrific things that happen to the cast. Some films leave a lasting impression. This one took lives. I know y'all like Lionel B, what do you mean, curse man? This is the Players Club. Like, ooh, it's not a horror film, it's none of that. But I'm gonna tell you why shortly. Now, this film was released in April of 1998. The Players Club featured a well-known all-star cast and also brought new faces to the big screen. The film pushed new boundaries and also highlighted Ice Cube's range as a serious director and producer. The movie helped launch many careers and featured a knockout soundtrack. Sadly, the film brought forth a lot of tragedy, poverty, disease, and death. Number 1. Monica Calhoun aka Ebony Born Lauren Monica Patrice Calhoun in Philly, Calhoun was the oldest of two children. She moved to LA as a child and launched her acting career. She featured in many films and TV shows and played as Lisa Ray's thought cousin in the Players Club. She featured in the film in 1998 and just two years later, she gave birth to her son in 2000. Monica was in for a quite a surprise to discover that her only son suffered the same disability as her younger brother. He went blind. Monica now makes her son a priority over her career to ensure that her son gets the special needs that he requires. Though she still regularly acts in projects, she does take major hiatuses throughout the years. Number 2. Bernie Mac aka Dollar Bill Born Bernard Jeffrey McCullough was born and raised in Southside Chicago. He quickly gained success and popularity as a no-nonsense stand-up comedian. He went on to be one of the kings of comedy and played the shady club owner that owed everybody in the club. Now Bernie broke major barriers with many star roles in films and also a hit TV show. Bernie Mac lost his life to sarcoidosis, which is complications from pneumonia. Bernie Mac lived with the disease ever since 1983. He was officially diagnosed with it. Number 3. Charlie Murphy, aka Brooklyn. Born Charles Quentin Murphy and one of Eddie Murphy's most famous brothers. He was best known for his acting, writing, and being a comedian. He featured in several black films and most notably stood out for his recording role in Chappelle Show. Charlie always had a tough street image and often stood out in Eddie Murphy's personal bodyguard. Now Charlie made his appearance as Brooklyn, the muscle for a wheelchair bound gangster. 11 years later, Charlie Murphy world was rocked when he found himself as a single father to his children after his beautiful wife of 12 years, Tisha Taylor, died from cancer. Now it's true what they say, sometimes when you're in love and married, when your soulmate dies, a part of you dies, and shortly thereafter, you die as well. Eight years later, Charlie Murphy died from leukemia. Number 4. Cristal Wilson aka Ronnie Born Cristal Wilson in Atlanta and raised in California, she made her acting debut as Ronnie, the villain stripper and arch enemy of Diamond. Her acting stood out so much that her lines are still tossed around 20 years later. You gotta use what you got to get what you want and also miss new booty. Her mom never considered her acting a traditional profession even though she was making an honest living and doing quite well with it. She went on to do several more films and even became the first minority woman to produce a union independent film called Groupies. And she was also the first woman to have an urban Christmas film sold in Walmart stores nationwide. Christelle only dated drug dealers when she was coming up, but found no success in the dating department because they kept getting incarcerated. Imagine that. She is still single to this day. Number 5. Michael Clark Duncan Born December 1957 in Chicago, was best known for his breakout role as John Coffey in The Green Mile, where he played a gentle giant with gifted hands on death row. He went on to smash major films and had major success. He hooked up reality star and avid Trump supporter Omarosa, and their relationship lasted for two years until his life was tragically cut short in 2012 due to a heart attack. Number 6. 
A.J. Johnson, a.k.a. Little Man. Born Anthony Johnson in Compton, California, he made his acting debut in his early 20s. He appeared in popular films such as House Party, Friday, Lethal Weapon 3, and Menace to Society. He played Little Man the funny and cocky bouncer at the strip club in the Players Club. After staying loyal to Ice Cube to a fault, because Ice Cube kept playing around with his compensation and also casting him from movies and secretly dropping him from the same movie. Now sadly, AJ Johnson reportedly passed away on September the 20th, 2021. He had battled with alcoholism, anxiety, depression, and multiple heart attacks as well as strokes. Number seven, Lisa Ray McCoy, AKA Diamond. Born September 23, 1967, Lisa is an actress, model, businesswoman, and fashion designer. Now, Lisa Ray is best known for portraying Dirty Diana Diamond Armstrong in the 1998 film The Players Club. Now, she made her debut in film and she took off the stardom. Though her career and popularity flourished, her relationships did. She married Michael Missick and became the envy of the island in 2006 because he was the Prime Minister of Turks and Caicos. Now the title didn't come without a price as she was unaccepted by the natives and rumors came out that he was a millionaire philandering cheater. He was also accused of laundering money to keep up with Lisa Ray's expensive demands and her lavish lifestyle. She reportedly paid her personal hairdresser $1,500 a day to keep up her due. And she also owned a black car because of the prestige that it carried. Now the couple did split after less than three years of marriage and it is said that the split was amicable. Number 8. Jamie Foxx Now Jamie Foxx took to the stage to an accepting award and during his speech he humorously touched on the medical health scare that left him hospitalized. On stage, he would later admit that he reportedly passed away. Now, Jamie was originally hospitalized in May of 2023 after receiving treatment at an Atlanta hospital for an undisclosed issue, which apparently turned out to be a stroke. Now, a month later, his daughter Corinne claimed Jamie was out of the hospital and recuperating and was even well enough to play pickleball. He was later reported to be undergoing treatment at a rehabilitation center in Chicago. Now, he was so grateful to be alive that he made a speech saying, cherish life, man. I have some people in my life that really made sure I was here because I was in dire straits. So I value, I'm telling you, my daughter thinks sometimes I'm too thankful nowadays because I'm just so thankful. I was drinking some water and I was like, wow, have you tasted this water? It's so wet. This is the wettest water. Was it like this before I passed away? He joked with the crowded room. Now this was the story and the unfortunate curse of the Players Club. Death, poverty, and sickness. Now if you think this video is crazy, make sure you click on the link that's on your screen right now and find out about the curse of the Last Dragon film and all the terrible things that happened to the cast.